Hello, everybody. It's Dave Neal, stand-up comic and host of Bachelor Nation News. That's right. It's Jungle Book Dave. You like this outfit over here? Straight out of the jungles of Bali, all the way to the coast. And I've got a lot to bring to you here. Indonesia Dave from abroad. That's right. I'm coming to you 16 hours in the future. And let me tell you something. Uh, we've got some fun content for you here today. Nick Vial goes on a rant. He says, I'm so done with Zach. He says, every time Zach hears any of the women express an insecurity, instead of showing an ounce of empathy, his face just drowns in disappointment and we're going to talk about this extensively in this video hit the like button subscribe follow on patreon for the behind the scenes content patreon.com slash dave neal and don't forget every afternoon bachelor rush hour the podcast giving you all the news we don't get to today you know there's a lot of youtube content think of this as the dissertation and bachelor rush hour is the spark notes on today's episode we've got katie thurston with a pretty brave and wild q a she does on her Instagram, opening up like never before. We'll get to that on this afternoon's Bachelor Rush Hour. So here's what Nick had to say. As repeated earlier, Nick said, every time Zach hears any of the women express an insecurity, instead of showing an ounce of empathy, his face just drowns with disappointment. And he also said, let's go back one here. He also said, Zach is now fully in I'm the bachelor, and it's your job to prove to me your worthy mode. And uh, you know, Nick's not exactly wrong here. Blind, uh, what's it called? The blind uh, chipmunk still catches a couple nuts. I don't know. Is that a term? All right. Anyway, let's just have a listen to what he has to say. All right. It's time for The Bachelor. Uh, <laughs> 50, I don't know how many in, minutes into this episode. <laughs> Kathy, 20. Uh, as a bachelor expert and, and mm. friend of show, uh, bring us up to speed on where you're at. Thoughts of Zach, uh, the women... Are you enjoying this season? So Nick asks a great question. Let's see if Kathy has any breath to answer. I once again, like Zach's over. I'm, I wanted to like Zach. I'm, Zach. I'm so <laughs> done with Zach. Uh, the man has not an empathetic bone in his body. Yeah. And every time uh, one of the women say something that where they offer some vulnerability or just being like, hey, I have ADDD, Zach gets like a, uh, by the way, and again, I'm not criticizing here, but Nick just referred to it as ADDD, which is a real aggressive form of ADD. If you've got ADDD, you've got ADD plus D. That's a lot of D, you know, in your ADD. His body. Yeah. And every time one of the women say something that where they offer some vulnerability or just being like, hey, I have ADDD, Zach gets like a, a head migraine. And you can see, go back and watch when fucking Gabby tells him she has ADHD. Yeah. He has like a, like, like he bit into a lemon for a split second. Like this, this stenographer is like, was the question for Kathy? <laughs> if you screenshot it, it's insane. Like you can tell he's just like, fuck, you're not yeah. perfect. It's just insane. I'm and actually, oh, I'm sorry. I asked you a question. I'm a mentalist. And so I wrote all of that down. Um, every word that you said verbatim, if you, do you want to read? Um, so yeah, I, I, this makes me this entire season makes me not want to watch the bachelor anymore which is really oh. a bummer because i've been watching for years you I know like, like that's really no, you're, it, you're off of it, it honestly okay. it's so boring like it makes me want a shanae or someone like you guys agree do you find the season boring i don't know i mean i'm kind of on nick's side where i think the season's pretty good uh but i do think if shanae was the bachelorette that would bring some ratings home like to come back to just to spice it up a little bit. And I think like I care about the girls more than I care about him in any capacity. Um, and it, it's just tough. Like I don't this isn't a knock on him necessarily. It might sound like that, but I don't want to watch another generic white guy who hasn't struggled with things. Find love. Someone who's 26 years old, who lives in Austin, who could walk out on the street and find a wife. To, to, I don't need to... But isn't... And again, I'm not here defending Zach because I don't think he's doing a necessarily strong job as a bachelor. He's not problematic in, in the sense that he's, I don't know, a piece of crap human. Of course, he seems to be a decent enough guy. But as far as the edit's concerned, it's also not painting him in a light picture with the woman he's sort of disposing, if you don't mind the term. Now... I the show Bachelor used to be that it was the cream of the crop, the catch. It was like a son of a you know vineyard owner. Who doesn't want to marry that? It was always like a Don Jr. I don't, you know, like it was always like somebody who who was of you know some sort of nepotism and they had some sort of regalness to them in one way or another. And then it's slowly become somebody who was heartbroken from the previous season. So the show itself has morphed from a cream of the crop to sort of bottom of the barrel. Who's single? 
at this age, why are they single? Not that there's anything wrong with being single at 26, but you know, everyone who goes on the show, for one reason or another, if they are single, probably has work to do on themselves. It's probably not someone who's just batting a thousand and they haven't found love. Like, no, maybe they're obsessed with their work and they haven't given time to romance. Maybe they're, um, it, uh, maybe they have unresolved issues so they can't keep a partner. You know, everyone's got issues that we see play out. We all do. Watch a season of that. And, and we've talked about this in the past. Like, there are so many people from this franchise that I think have such emotional intelligence that, like, I want to watch because I Bend feel it. like they're so good at dating and I, I pick up on their model behavior and whatever else. But I want to see them find love. I want to see the Michelles and the Gabbies and the, you know, like, those type of people who we did it and not, and no offense to michelle or gabby you know sometimes we look at people that are nice and michelle's nice gabby's nice and we think oh they must have it all together for all we know they might be nightmares of partners do you know what i mean they might be nightmares to deal with and, and, and again i hate to say uh, because now it's i need it i need to think of a male uh you know a bachelor version of that you know uh, because uh you know who, who's a reason clayton maybe clayton's so hard to deal with and super needy or whatever so i'm not just trying to like pick on the women here but maybe maybe they, they they've got a lot of work they need to do just because michelle's a teacher and gabby's a nurse doesn't mean they figured their love life out so when she says she wants to see these sort of success stories it's like okay i un I, I understand the point but we saw michelle we saw gabby both of their relationships lasted less time than usually i you know wash my underwear in who've struggled to find love find love i think they're Casting 25 to 26 year old bachelors is I'm not a fan, but they are. Yeah, I don't know, but I I will say I'm enjoying the season. Are I, you? Yeah, okay I I am enjoying the relationships It's different like I do miss the drama and the craziness But like I am enjoying the drama like is a relationship podcast like we get I think we're getting in more of the nitty-gritty of like again last week yeah, spirited debate between cat in Brooklyn but like I I am and like as much as like I'm disappointed because I really wanted to like Zach it's still fun to like critique I mean it's it's fun yeah. to talk about I, I I think this this season has been it's been fun to recap I guess that's the the point of view I come from that it's it's been fun to yeah I think it's been enjoyed. a relatively good season I don't think there's been any wild villains or those crazy moments that send us over the charts it's almost like vanilla ice cream I like vanilla ice cream it's amazing it's not um it's not rocky road there's nothing crazy in vanilla ice cream but vanilla is a very um very, you know a lot you know whenever whenever anyone calls a bachelor vanilla I'm always like no 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 vanilla and plain are two different things we need to normalize respect you know respecting vanilla vanilla is not plain Plain is is vanilla less, if anything. And by the way, speaking of things that aren't vanilla, I'm just throwing fastballs while in Indonesia. But I have to tell you something: the um, the, the uh, adapter for my outlet that connects my laptop into the wall here doesn't have a ground wire. I'm no electrician, if you didn't know this. But whenever I touch my microphone, can you hear that? Whenever I touch my microphone or my laptop. I receive a mild shock. An electrical current is coursing through my body. I haven't decided yet if that's a good thing or a bad thing. This might be my, you know, guy gets bit by a spider and becomes Spider-Man moment. Maybe I'm, maybe this is the electricity I need. Or, you know, I, it's going to lead to other issues. But I want you, I just want to put it on the record right now that I am, that I am electric. Okay. Boogie woogie. And I think, yeah, I do appreciate how much they've been invested. And sorry that just, this is, you know, sorry for the tangent and just my ADDD talking here and love stories because like I am genuinely invested in both Katie and Gabby as individuals and like yeah. also like really root for Ariel but like yeah. in terms of people who I'm like oh my god I see both of you as like extreme front runners it's insane to imagine him breaking up with either of you like by the way it's funny that they don't acknowledge the spoilers that exist which I'm not going to acknowledge right now but they clearly know who wins I don't know if they ever reference reality Steve because obviously Nick and reality Steve are like in like a mortal enemies which is kind of fun in the bachelor world to be like here's a former contestant with a podcast that's of mortal enemies with some random guy in Texas who you know it's just it's just a you know maybe someday they'll uh, find out they're more alike than different and they'll be best friends what do I know like, I do appreciate the way that it's been more of like a slow burn of like, let's really like build these relationships. So that way the drama is coming from like the premise of the show that like you can't marry more than one person as yeah. opposed to like some of those more like short lived, like three episode arcs of like someone 
being really inconsiderate and loud. <laughs> what a great point by the producer here. I always say they, they, they have some solid points. She says, because there aren't multiple bachelors, multiple bachelorettes, there's more time for the love stories to develop, which will lead in the end to greater heartbreak and a better amount of empathy that the audience you know, gets to see these love stories and build them. And who knows, maybe this will help out the next bachelorette because whoever the next bachelorette is, which of course we have the spoiler if you want to know, it'll the audience will be rooting for them in a way that um, you know might be greater and maybe, maybe that'll help the ratings. And I think too, Probably like not. building off of that, it, it is scratching an itch or quenching a thirst that a lot of people had coming off of Gabby and Rachel's season mm -hmm. because everyone's complaint and a lot of what I saw online and a lot of what we talked about on the show is with two bachelorettes, everything was really rushed. We didn't see the connections. Like yeah. we didn't know who any of these guys were. And then they were like, just basically given the final rose because they were the last one standing. And this I think is bringing us back to Will it be Katie? Yeah. Will it be Gabby? Totally. Ariel's a dark horse. Like, it's just, I haven't enjoyed any of their Bachelor choices in several mm, seasons. Totally. And yeah. I wish they have such a like pool of people that they could have chosen from. I almost wish that they just did another Bachelorette season. You know, like yeah. Very interesting. She says, skip Bachelor and just do Bachelorette. And Nick throws his hands up in disgust, saying he hasn't liked The Bachelor either. I don't know. Clayton Eckerd gave us quite the drama quite the drama it might not have been the drama we wanted but his season definitely gave the drama as of course as we know nick mentioned a few weeks ago that no one has that the bachelor has not been loved since his season since his glorious season of the bachelor all right well and again their point being that um we that um, because there is only one lead r r versus Rachel and Michelle that uh, that we get to dive deeper into these love stories. We have to remember that's for the audience. The lead like Rachel and Gabby. I'm sorry, I said Rachel and Michelle. Rachel and Gabby both had plenty of time for their love stories to take root just as much time because they were split up you know so they got to go on as many dates as they needed and this and that it was the audience that was left short changed by not getting to see the love stories develop because of course times were split let me know what you guys think we've got a lot of good content coming for you today uh, make sure to subscribe to this video if you haven't already subscribe to my channel i'm going to have my next video for subscribers only it is a rachel Lindsay reaction to chris Harrison and I love how comfortable she's getting because she is not holding back with some of the words she's using to describe the delusion that is known as Chris Harrison and I actually have to agree I was always kind of like um, in one way or another well you know what I'm gonna get into that in the next video so check that out there and don't forget fresh content for you at least the first five or ten minutes while I'm in Indonesia but fresh content content for you on bachelor rush hour the podcast there's a link in the comment section as always you can go watch that wherever or listen to that wherever you check out podcasts bachelor rush hour, rush hour just type it in there or go to linktree.com slash dave neal and you can click on it you can watch it or excuse me listen to it on your mobile device or desktop computer or wherever or you can just call my cell phone and i'll just tell you all the highlights we'll do a one-on-one -on -one, folks all right more content right after this